recent scientific discussion is focused on what's called dark matter. What is your understanding yes. currently on this topic? Regards Dermot from Ireland, dark matter. <laughs> Yeah, uh, good, Dermot. Uh, yeah, uh, the current thinking, and, and this is pretty much verified by the Cosmic Background Explorer satellite, the uh, uh, WMAP satellite, and now the Max Planck satellite, we do have uh, f some uh, fairly significant evidence that the universe breaks down into three fundamental constituents. The first is what's called visible matter, and, and that's the matter we're all accustomed to, right? That's the matter uh, that has the four forces of our universe, right? The electromagnetic force, the strong nuclear force, the weak force, and the electro and uh, uh, the gravitational force. So that, you know, that's giving rise to the lights that are in the studio, or giving rise to the sun, right? The strong nuclear force, right? Which is, you know, converting, fusing hydrogen into helium and giving rise to, to, uh, uh, to, to the warmth and the light of the sun and so forth. So let's call that visible matter, and that's 5% of the matter in the universe. And by the way, matter and energy are convertible, so I'm just going to call it, that's 5% of the matter hyphen energy in the universe. There is approximately 25% uh, of the universe is what's called dark matter. Now, dark matter is exactly what it may seem like, right? In other words, dark matter is stuff that affects the gravitational field, right? So, so you know, we have a gravitational field we have a space-time field that that um, it collapses with matter so mat matter collapses the space-time field causing gravitational effects now that's the one thing that visible matter and dark matter have in common but after that dark matter doesn't have any it doesn't emit light it doesn't receive light or absorb light so right you know dark matter is dark it, it doesn't have those other forces that are giving rise to heat and light but it does exist and it seems to exist in very fine particles by the way which are probably passing through your body right mm -hmm. now and that'd be about 25 percent of our universe now the reason that we think that is because the galaxies are not flying apart. But hold on to that for one minute and I'll get you the third constituent of our universe. The third constituent of our universe is called dark energy. Now dark energy is very different from dark matter. In fact, it's the opposite really of dark matter. Dark energy causes the space-time field not to collapse in upon itself and cause a force of attraction. Dark energy actually causes the space-time field to expand rapidly, to expand in an accelerated way. Now, when that happens, uh, when the universe is expanding very, very rapidly, you have a repulsive effect, and uh, you know, which is the exact opposite of gravitation, what matter does to the space-time field, which is an attractive force, right? So now, dark energy is, is a big force of repulsion. And, and we think right now that 70% of the universe's uh, matter energy is dark energy. So 5% is visible matter, 25% uh, is dark matter, 70% is dark energy. Now, because we have 70% dark uh, uh, energy in the universe, we do not think that the universe will collapse in upon itself. So the, remember the old oscillating theory or bouncing right. theory of the universe that was sometimes postulated where the universe is expanding and then contracting, expanding and then recontracting, etc. That sounds and today very, very implausible.